Hello everybody, welcome back. Just making myself comfortable. Uh, welcome back to the next demo. On this one I'm going to be using the lovely passion flower yet again uh, because I'm absolutely loving using it. I just think it's a fab stamp so I'm going to be using that again this time but in a different way because I like to show you as many different ways as possible to use your stamps and stencils. So what we're using this time around is my gel press and as you can see it's beautifully clean, not, but I'll show you how we can use these crusty edges in another demo. So what I'm doing is I'm using my Well Love stencils which are in the show. Uh, we've got this stencil here and this one. I haven't got the packaging, I do apologise, but they're well loved and at least you know I do use them. I'm also using some acrylic paints. I'm using colours Cheddar and Sedona. So any acrylic paints that you want to use, that's absolutely fine. And I'm going to use a die cut circle and I'm going to place that circle down onto my gel press. So that will stick on there nicely for me. And what I'm going to do is add a few layers of paint with my stencils. I've got a spare piece of card here on the side so that I can remove any excess paint. If you've got an extra gel press, you could actually do that. You could add your extra paint to your other gel press if you wanted to do that. I'm then going to place the stencil down onto the painted layer. I'm just going to reach for a scrap of paper just reach for a scrap of paper and what I'm going to do is just remove some of that paint from that stencil. Just remove some paint from them open areas. As you can see that removes the paint from the open areas. So what I'm going to do is repeat that process around my gel press with the different stencils and allow that paint to dry. So now I'm going to go to my Sedona paint and add another colour of paint and I'm just going to bray it again and as you can see I'm not using much paint at all I'm using light layers of paint and then I'm braying off the excess onto a spare piece of card place our other stencil again onto the background of that paint take a scrap of paper which you could use in your journals afterwards you could use this scrap of paper in your journals you could place it down with some matte medium just like you would tissue because you've got these extra so you could tear these and use those in your journal remove that stencil you can't see much at the moment but there is detail there I'm then going to go to my other colour which is back to cheddar just lift that up so you can see that in camera back to the cheddar colour and it doesn't matter if you overlap the colours that's absolutely fine and again brayer off that excess onto the card place the stencil maybe some of the bigger circles this time onto the gel press and again take your car your piece of paper and remove that excess paint just get in there with your fingers and remove that excess paint again you're making those lovely I mean that would be lovely in a journal so just remove that. I don't know whether the camera will pick that up, but if you look carefully, you can see some dry layers. Well, it's still drying, but that will dry layers of there. Going to go back to my other stencil. So again, using the Sedona. I love these colours together. I think they're ever so nice. Nice and rich. So just, again, add a light layer of the paint and add this to your brayed off piece because we can use that for stamping afterwards. And let's place the stencil a different way this time. And then take that scrap of paper and rub over that wet paint, just so you're lifting that wet paint again. You could use card for this as well, just so that you could use the card for some cards as well. But you've got some lovely background pieces there that you could use in a journal page going to remove that and we need this paint to dry for a couple of seconds but I'm just going to waffle we're going to remove this circular piece and as you can see here you can see you've got all those dry layers of paint 
on the gel press. Now, if you went away and made a cup of tea, that wouldn't matter. That would still be on the gel press. It doesn't matter how long you leave that on the gel press. And then what you want to do is you want to reactivate those dry layers of paint. So we'll just move that out of the way and bring in a clean piece of card, which in this room at the moment is impossible. I've got that many blobs of paint everywhere. Just make sure that you've removed the excess layer of paint from your brayer because you're now going to use a light colour. So just make sure that brayer is nice and clean. And what I'm doing now is I'm using a honeydew. You can use any paint, a white acrylic, that's absolutely fine. A white acrylic would work well as also. So you could use any that you've got, any light colour, and brayer that over your gel press. I'm just hoping I allowed that to dry enough so that we get a nice pattern. And just remove that excess. You see, I've, the paint was still wet on the gel press. You need to make sure that paint is dry, but hopefully we'll get a decent print. So just give a firm press over your gel press. And you just need to give a firm press because you're lifting dry layers of paint. And these are often the best prints from me, the second prints, the second layer of prints. And as you can see here, we've got our stenciling. We've got the stencil circled areas here. We've got the flower areas here. If I bring this up close, you can see the flower here. If you let that paint dry a little bit longer, it will be a lot crisper. But I'll show you in the next demo what we can do with these dried pieces. So just remember when you're doing this, just allow yours to dry a little bit longer. But I still love that print. Beautiful print. Hopefully we can see that. We can see these flower areas here. You've got the flower from your stencil. You've got these circles. And it's picked up other layers from my gel press. These circles are really prominent. So I'm loving those. So what we've got now is we've also got a spotlight here. So we'll go back to our brayed off, which is also just as good. So dry that because we're going to stamp onto there. So just dry that. You don't need to dry this one because it's dry anyway. So just give this a dry. Just so that we can stamp onto this layer. If we try to stamp onto a wet, sticky, plasticky layer of acrylic paint, you won't get a good image. So you do need to make sure that that is dry. And we're going to use our passion flower. So if we just move all these things out of the way, we're going to use our passion flower. And if we look at our stamp, it's this area that I want here. So as I've said before, you could mask off this area with low tack tape if you wanted. But because I just need this flower, it's not a problem. I can just ink that area up. So I'm just going to ink that. And again, giving the stamp a good layer of ink because I'm going to stamp onto a painted layer. So you need to give that a good layer of ink. And I just love the flowers on this stamp set because you can use it as a whole or you can just use part of it. And I love the fact that you can do that. I mean, if you didn't want to use this background because you could use this for a whole card again, you could make a separate card. Then you could just bray some more paint onto a piece of card. Obviously, because I'm on a live video, we haven't got time to do that. So we're using the background that we've created just so that we've got a lovely cohesive design. And again, allowing that paint just to settle we're allowing that stamp, I do beg your pardon, that ink to settle on that paint just to make sure that we get a good image. So just lift that up like so. And there you go, you've got a fantastic image. And what you have to look at here is you've got this background here. You've got this background here and you've also got these that you've created just lifting up the ink, the paints from the gel press. So you've got lots of things that you can use there. You'd be pleased to know that I've cut out these images. So I've cut out this passion flower here. So I'm going to adhere this to this layer here. Just add this to here, like so. And I just love that spotlight. I love how that spotlight is in that lovely 
creamy sort of beigey colour and it all coordinates together here in the background and then I've cut another flower out just to give it some dimension I don't want to stick everything down I want some of these flower petals to stick up a little bit so I'm just going to stick down that central area there and just adhere that just make it slightly off just so that you've got more petals visible and as you can see that just makes it quite dimensional and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our stamp set and our stamp set the one from the one day special has also got a lovely sentiment on there so and the good thing about the plastic as well is because you've got the image on the plastic you can decide exactly where you want your flower image so I already practiced beforehand judging where I wanted that so I've now got a lovely sentiment best wishes it would help if I got the stamp the right way up best wishes today tomorrow and always just move that out of the way and we'll bring in a piece of white card so I'm just going to stamp this onto my white card you don't need too much ink for this because it's a nice delicate sentiment and stamp this onto our card and I love the font on this best wishes today tomorrow and always and you don't really need to press much just again allow that ink to sit there we go beautiful sentiment I'm just going to take a scrap of paper and blot that ink I always blot that ink just so that we don't smudge it because we're using an ink with a good open time I'm now going to cut that out And while you're brayering, while you're actually doing gel press backgrounds, I often create lots of backgrounds in one sitting. I don't just create one background, I do lots of backgrounds in one sitting. And then I've got loads then that I can use at a later date. And they work so well. Just move that out of the way. Just cut the edge. And I think I just want to trim that as well. Just to trim. Obviously, if I wasn't doing a video I would do this on my cutter just to get it nice and straight and then what I'm going to do is just split that sentiment up just so that it's not too long add this to my card like so whoops so we've got best wishes today tomorrow and always and if you add that to a black piece of card it really does pop and all you need then just move that black card out of the way just to finish it off you just need some nice delicate splatters you should know me by now I like my delicate splatters of white paint and if I put that onto the black mat it really does make it pop it really gives you all the details but look at that gel press detail in the background absolutely love it and all that we've used is our stencils and one stamp and i'll be back shortly and i'll show you how to use those dry layers of paint those crusty layers around the edge of our gel press just to show you how you can create another card with some waste see you shortly bye <laughs> 